from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Plan to help county employees pay for their first time home purchases and a juvenile dies in an overnight shooting on Wednesday. We'll tell you about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Thursday, June 22nd, 2023, and it's brought to you today by Henrico County. And now for the news. A juvenile is dead after an early morning shooting yesterday in eastern Henrico, and another juvenile faces a charge in connection with the shooting. It happened just after 12.30 a.m. on Wednesday morning in the Audubon Village Apartments, just across from the shops at White Oak Village. The juvenile victim was found inside a residence with signs of trauma. Police attempted life-saving measures until EMS officials could arrive to take the victim to an area hospital. He later died. Police officials say they were able to quickly identify the suspect and take him into custody. He's charged with underage possession of a firearm and more charges potentially are forthcoming. Yesterday we told you that Henrico police were looking for a 37-year-old man in connection with the May 15th shooting death of a 41-year-old woman in Highland Springs. Yesterday police took that man into custody. He is Montreal Javon Robinson. Police did not elaborate where or how they located him. He faces a second-degree murder charge as well as a charge of using a firearm in the commission of a felony all related to the shooting death of Brittany Jo McDaniel in the 600 block of Summer Court. Police previously had arrested 21-year-old John Quincy Neal on the same two charges. Earlier this month, the Henrico Board of Supervisors voted unanimously to approve an ordinance that will create the Henrico County Home Purchase Assistance Program. The program will offer forgivable loans of as much as $25,000 of assistance to eligible county and school board employees as well as county constitutional officers in purchasing their first primary residences, provided those residences are in the county. To qualify, the two-person household of a county employee must not exceed a maximum gross household income of $98,400 annually or a three-person household can't exceed $114,900 annually. The program is designed to help with the recruitment and retention of county employees. For each year that the employee remains with the county, the loan amount will be reduced by one-fifth. An employee who receives a loan but is not employed by the county for a full five-year period would have to repay the remaining loan amount. And RICO becomes the first locality in Central Virginia to implement this type of program, versions of which have been implemented in Northern Virginia localities. Also earlier this month, the Board of Supervisors amended its fiscal year budget to account for an additional $80.7 million of spending in revenue. The total included about $52 million of spending on public works projects, $38.2 million of which is for the Fall Line Trail and more than $11 million in public safety overtime pay. It also included about $18.5 million to renovate and partially replace facilities at the Academy at Virginia Randolph. And nearly $36 million of the money for the Fall Line Trail comes from the Central Virginia Transportation Authority's regional funding pool. 80% of the overall spending will be covered by existing state, federal, and local funding sources. The rest will be covered by county resources. Funding for the Academy renovation project will be provided by savings from the General Henrico Schools operating budget, as well as school relief funds from 2020 federal COVID relief funding and meals tax revenue that have not yet been spent. Cultural Arts Center at Glen Allen recently announced a lineup for its 2023-24 season, including theater, music, and dance performances, as well as exhibits. Tickets start at $20 for select shows. The center's second stage concert season will include both indoor and outdoor performances. Among the highlights include performances by Good Shot Judy, The Taters, Desiree Roots, The Whiskey Rebellion, 
and the yesterday and today an interactive Beatles experience. You can see a complete schedule of events by visiting artsglenallen.com. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Henrico County. Henrico County is now hiring. You can visit henrico.us backslash jobs to view a complete list of all opportunities, full and part-time, that are currently available. To learn more about Henrico's commitment to its employees in the Henrico way, and find out why employees like Henrico Police Logistics Asset Manager Kristen Gaines say, quote, Henrico feels like my home. It really is my family. I can't imagine doing anything else. That's henrico.us backslash jobs.